hurricane lashes the coastline, destroying beaches, boardwalks, and homes. Dunes were flattened, but the towns they protected suffered less damage. Now, as communities rebuild, NPR presents Two Ways to Make a Dune. The first recipe is a classic, friends. All you'll need is sand, water, wind, and a dash of beach grass. Start with the regular beach and add a little wind. The faster gusts will pick up grains of sand and start to pile them up. Now throw in the beach grass. It will slow the wind so it drops its sand. Dunes will begin to form and the grass will keep growing, creating a mesh that helps prevent erosion. Salty waves will kill the grass closest to the water, so you'll have a stretch of empty beach and, where the grass survives, a line of dunes. That empty beach is important, though. It supplies sand and maintains the dune. The wider the beach, the bigger they will become, and the better they can protect the land beyond them. Every now and then, as sea levels rise, a major storm will flatten the dunes and push the entire beach inland. But don't worry, the dune will grow back in a dozen years or so. But hold on. What if there are buildings where these new dunes want to grow? What if you want the dunes back where they can protect those buildings? Well, friends, try the second recipe, the one used by many folks today. You'll need a few extra ingredients, some heavy equipment, a few additives, and a large serving of cash. First, push all that sand back down the beach. Of course, left alone, those piles would quickly erode, so you'll want to build them around a foundation. Discarded Christmas trees work well. Then add some old snow fences to keep pedestrians away and trap the sand, and plant some grass on top. Of course, with a shortened beach, there won't be enough sand to maintain your dunes, so you'll want to dredge sand from the ocean floor and rebuild your beach. Of course, any shoreline that sticks out into the ocean will be washed away, so you'll want to build up the beach in both directions. Now you have a working dune. Each time a major storm passes through, simply repeat. It will cost a lot of money, it will take a lot of labor, and as sea levels rise and the beach erodes, these dunes will become more and more fragile, but at least you won't have to move. Mother Nature's recipe is much easier. Just sit back and relax for a decade or two. And of course, you'll need to move that house. This video was produced by Adam Cole. Vicky Valentine and Ben De La Cruz were the senior producers.